Hey everybody, this is Ms. Dietrich helping you on Lesson 2.2 uh, from the Go Math series. And we're faced with the challenge of ordering from least to greatest, and we're going to take a look at number 5 on Worksheet 2.2. Now the first thing you should notice is the fact that we have kind of a mix of some fractions here and some decimals. So you have to choose a strategy. Most people are going to choose to change the fractions into decimals. And an easy way to do that is to just take the numerator and divide it by the denominator. Now, if this could have been simplified, we may have considered simplifying that to make it more user-friendly, but it's already in simplest form. So notice we take the numerator, put it here, take the denominator, put it here, and then we can proceed with the division. Now, hopefully you know your uh, multiples of 12. Here they are. Of course, we won't need the ones that are too big, but the one we're going to need right here is the 60. 12 times 5 is 60, so we're going to put the 5 here, and we're going to put the 60 here. And we're also going to remember to take our decimal and bring it directly above. All right, and let's subtract. Here we get the 0. Here we get the 1. Check to make sure that your difference is less than your divisor, and it is. Bring down the next 0. And then we can kind of keep going. Let's think of our multiples of 12 again. We're looking at this one right here. This one's too big. So that's going to be times 8. Okay subtract. All right, now you may be wondering, is this going to work out evenly? And if it doesn't, when is it okay to stop dividing? And really, if you kind of think about it, let's see if we have the answer to the question that we need. Is we're ordering from least to greatest. Now, we already know that this tenths place is a 7, and this tenths place is a 5. So we already know that this value here is lower than this value. So that may be enough, but we're going to see what happens with this and compare the two numbers that we have here. So let's uh, leave that one unfinished for now. All right, let's proceed with this. Let's put the decimal up here. Let's think of our multiples of 6. Whoops. Here are our multiples of 6 right here. Okay, in this row. Think of which one we need. Looks like we're going to use 8. 6 times 8 is 48. Subtract. Get the 2 left over. Bring this down. All right, and again, we could keep going, but let's take a look. Do we have enough information to answer the question? It looks like we do. So if we kind of rethink what we're dealing with here, even though we didn't finish this up, we could have. We would have gotten the 4 left over. We would have brought this down. It would have gone in 3 times, and we, you know, we could have kept going. So if we were going to round that even, we would round that to 6 tenths. We're going to round it to the tenths place. But let's just kind of take a look at what we know. We know this unfinished. We have those digits, and I'm just going to line it up, up and down. We know this value here is equal to that, and let me just put a little zero in here just to help ourselves. And we know 5 divided by 6, we know we're going to get, you know, 8 and a little more, right? If we were to keep going here, we might keep going. Okay, we kind of get the repeating decimal thing going. So let's just kind of put this here for now. All right, and now let's kind of compare, because really we have enough information just looking at the tenths place to put them in order from, le from least to greatest. You always want to pay attention to the directions. So the, the tenths place value that's the lowest is this one right here, and that went with the 7 twelfths. So this is going to come first. So let's put a little 1 there. All right, the next lowest value is this one, right? That matched up with this. So that's going to come second. And then this one has the highest value. So just coincidentally, they happen to already be in the correct order from least to greatest. 